if you're Simone Biles, you should be catching big fin tuna. <laughs> and she caught a goldfish. Right, right. You know, he is a damn goldfish. Welcome to Patty's Perspective, where I give you my thoughts on what is happening in pop culture. I am here with my sidekick in my right hand, Jordan. Hey, Jordan, what's going on? What's going on, Patty? It's uh, I'm very excited to get started on this. You know, uh, I love to hear you talk and vent and rant about men, and I like to do that with you, so I'm very stoked. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, thank you. I'm excited about this, too, because... There seems to be something that happens to men when they are put in front of a microphone. I don't know if it's like something just clicks in their head and they automatically become not so smart and just say really stupid shit <laughs> that they really shouldn't say, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, recently, a guy was given a mic and he says some stupid shit that I want to talk about. And uh, this person is Simone Biles' husband. Right. Oh, Mr. Biles. <laughs> yes, Mr. Biles. Exactly. And we call him Mr. Biles because honestly, no one knew who this guy was before he actually started to date Simone Biles. All right. He is an NFL player now, but um, nobody knew who he was. And, um, you know, I didn't even know who he was. And I'm a huge sports fan. I mean, I watch three sports shows a day. Okay. And no one's talking about this fool on any platform in any way shape or form he is literally like a c-list nfl player okay? oh yeah he's irrelevant he really is and although he's gotten better over the past couple of years you know i, I want to be fair or i should say over the last year he's gotten a little bit better he isn't anybody of note his name is uh, jonathan owens and he went on the pivot podcast which is a pretty popular sports podcast and i actually listened to this podcast that's where i heard this from and a i was sh very shocked and surprised that they would even have this dude on um, but Simone was there and I realized, oh my gosh, the only reason that he's on is because Simone is his wife, right? Like no one would give this guy a mic otherwise, but he was on this podcast and he was asked by one of the men, how the hell were you able to pull Simone Biles? Okay. Now, any guy worth his salt, like any guy who's secure, any guy who really, you know, knows who he is would have been like, Oh, you know, I, um, I'm really, you know, honored or I'm happy that we got married or saying something to like pump her up. Right. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying that, instead of saying, yeah, or I don't know how I pulled her or something like that, try to be funny. This guy turns around and says, well, I don't know how she pulled me. And then proceeds to say that he is the catch in the relationship and then proceeds to say that he thinks the men are always the catch in the relationship. Okay. So before we break this down, let's, um, let's play the clips of the stupid shit that he's saying. How in the hell did you pull Simone Biden? <laughs> Man, and we I love this football talk, bro. I gotta get yeah. to it. I'm over here rubbing my knees trying to ask this question. It's really, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you with Freddie. Now it's back. <laughs> now yeah. now you listen, with I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. Organic story, man. So you was really the catch in. I always say we the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you though. said. Cause I was, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So I was afraid. I I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm, man, it's my it's my third year. You know, I'm trying to ah. I'm like, it's kind of mm -hmm. early. <sighs> okay, that wow. was very interesting, right? Yeah. Very yeah. very interesting. So let's just kind of break it down. Like I said, um, if this guy had any self-esteem at all, if this guy wasn't a dusty, insecure dude, he would have never answered the question like that. And you know that he answered the question in a very inappropriate way because you see the responses of the men in the video, right? The dudes are asking the question, they're like, oh, like what? Uh, uh, you know? And he also said, which I forgot to mention, that he didn't know who Simone Biles was <laughs> until they started dating. Which is crazy. Right. So I want to start with him saying that he is the catch in this relationship, right? So let's kind of go down everybody's resumes, and then we can determine who the catch is. 
So Simone Biles has seven Olympic gold medals, four, I'm, I'm sorry, seven Olympic medals, four of them are gold medals, okay? She has five gymnastic skills named for her, okay? Named after her. No other gymnast has five. She was on the Wheaties box, right? I mean, the greatest athletes on the planet are on the box of Wheaties, okay? I mean, Simone Biles has done it better than any else in her game. I mean, anybody. She is the top gymnast of all time. And she's worth $16 million. Okay, so that's Simone Biles' resume. Uh, now let's get to Jonathan Owens or whatever his name is. L let's talk about his resume. What's his face? Yes. So uh, what's his face went to uh, Missouri Western State University, Division Two. He didn't even play Division One col college ball. Um, in 2018, he went undrafted. He was on the Arizona Cardinals practice squad, and he got cut three times. Then he signed with the Houston Texans, I think, for two-year contract of $1.3 million, $1.4 million, something like that, which you know you may think is a lot of money, but for football players, that's nothing. I mean, literally, that's like C-list type of pay. And, and now he's with the Packers for a one-year contract, I think, for a million bucks, okay? So no one's giving this dude a long-term contract. And he has never been the top of his game in anything that he's done, right? I mean, really, right. no. if, if you were, you would have gone to a Division One mm -hmm. college. You would have been drafted, mm -hmm. right? You would be given better contracts than one-year yeah. contracts. And he thinks that he's the catch in this relationship, which just boggles my mind. I mean, the closest that this dude has ever gotten to being an elite athlete is maybe in high school, okay? Like, literally in high school. Um, and he has the audacity to sit there and actually say that he thinks he's the catch in this relationship. And, you know, I understand that there's more to being a catch than your resume, right? I understand that. But Simone Biles, from what I've seen of her, always comes off as very intelligent, very smart, a sweet girl. She's, you know, she's never talked badly about anybody. She's really had a clean record considering, like, how much she's been in the public eye. But his responses to this tells me that he is not the right man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Simone was quoted as saying, in three to four years, no one will know her name and she'll be, hit, uh, you know, I'll be mm -hmm. Jonathan Owens' wife. <laughs> she said oh that. God. And to me, that like blew my mind for a multitude of reasons. One, because what are you even talking right. about? But also, two, because that signals to me that she lacks confidence in herself. Because that is objectively untrue. In three to four years, everyone will know who you are, yeah. Simone. You're solidified in sports history. You're yeah. solidified in Olympics history. This isn't just a thing where, oh, and then I become irrelevant and I'm someone's right. wife. And I don't know if maybe she thought it was endearing um, as a way to say, like, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe she thought, maybe she thinks, like, she's really connected to him. But I, I think I know why she said that. You, you know why she said that? Because she said that because she knows how insecure he is about everyone thinking that he is Simone Biles' husband. That's the only reason she said that. Simone Biles is a beast. She knows who the hell she is. And by saying that, she's trying to do damage control. And this is why women should never date dusty, insecure dudes. Because they bring you down. They make you talk badly about yourself. Instead of making you shine and being like, oh my God, in four years, I'm still going to be Simone Biles. I'm going to be great. She is degrading herself. And she's bringing herself down to his level. I mean, really, dude? Like, he thinks he's the catch? Like, what type of catch are you? Because if you're Simone Biles, you should be catching Big Fin Tuna. <laughs> and she caught a goldfish. Right, right. You know, he is a damn goldfish. Now, what about you makes you think that you are a catch in this relationship? You haven't even gotten close to the things that she's accomplished, right? Not even close. Not like, not even like 1% right. of what she's exactly. accomplished. Exactly. Not, not, not even that. 
And then to say that he didn't know who she was until they started dating. And then he's like, yeah, I, I saw that she had a lot of followers and then how people were reacting to her. Where the fuck have you been, dude? I mean, really? Under a rock? Like, yeah. And his excuse was, he said something stupid like, you know, I was, I was in practice and we didn't have NBC to watch the Olympics. You don't need NBC to know who Simone Biles is, you right. know? She's all over the place. Yeah. the fa- It's either you're lying about this. You knew exactly who she was, but you're lying to make yourself feel better about yourself. Or if that's really the truth, you have such limited perspective in life if you don't know who Simone Biles is. Right. Well, and you know what? I'm actually thinking it's probably the former. Uh, I think he probably is just, he, he said, probably says things like that to just be like, yeah, well, I, I didn't know who you were. So right. So for me, you know, it, right, it doesn't exactly. matter that you're Simone Biles. I don't, I don't know. I don't watch gymnastics. So right. Exactly. Exactly. To, again, to try to make himself feel better. And then, you know, the last thing that he said was that, you know, I think men are always the catch in the relationship. He's like, you know, I didn't want to commit. She, you know, she caught me. Give me a fucking break. This like rhetoric that men don't want to commit, because that's what he said was men don't want to commit, that men don't want to commit and women force them or, you know, magically make them commit is just so old and only dusty dudes say this shit it's like really dude Uh, yeah so that really to me feeds into the narrative and perpetuates the narrative um that you've talked about before and and recently on your tiktok about women keeping a man as some sort of uh testament to their character badge of honor to their yeah exactly as a badge of honor yeah when uh, to say oh well i didn't want to be held down but you know i you got me in a relationship with you so congratulations you've really done something you've you've caught me right when exactly. like exactly that's it's i mean there's a multitude of reasons why that's just so stupid but it continues to feed into this narrative that then men parrot and say well you don't mm-hmm. know how to keep a man so that's why right. you're not a good woman or that's why you're not a good right. person, right? Because really... That's why I'm not committing to you because right, exactly. you didn't make me commit, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's that kind of nonsense. And um, again, this guy is so dusty that he couldn't even read the room. Right. Like if you, if you looked at that, at the responses that the other men, the, the guy, the guy literally was like, so you think you're the catch, like giving him every opportunity to like check himself. And he still doubled down on it. It's like, read the room, dude. Everyone thinks what you're saying is ridiculous. Okay. Including the people that are asking, you're the only one that doesn't think it's ridiculous. And you know, if, If I were Simone Biles, this would be a huge red flag. And I wish Simone Biles the best. I certainly do not wish anything bad about her marriage. You know, I I hope that they work out. But this is a huge red flag. Because a guy who gets on a top sports podcast and instead of bringing his woman up, puts her down by and thinking that he's making himself look better by putting her down, That is a huge red flag. And the fact that she said, you know, she's going to be known as Jonathan Owens' wife, that is a red flag in itself because it tells you that she understands that he is insecure about this and she is going to spend the rest of her life trying to make himself feel good about who he is and failing because that only comes from you. So if I were Simone Biles, if I caught that fool, I would throw him right back. (laughs) <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you, you know, like nobody wants you. Nobody wanted a goldfish. I wanted big fin tuna and I got you. So, um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that this guy felt that it was necessary for him to do this. But I just think that men like this in front of a mic putting their women down is just so representative of um, what men think of women or what he thinks of women and um he should just be shut down because he's still doubling down on it he hasn't apologized he hasn't done anything oh of course not yeah yeah so yeah so simone if if you're listening um i really hope that your marriage lasts and that you guys are both happy but he needs to get some therapy and he needs to get himself together because right now he's 
being nothing but a dusty, insecure dude. That's not going to get anybody anywhere. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us on Patty's Perspective. If you like what you've heard, please go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube videos. We're going to put one out every single week talking about pop culture, breaking it down, and uh, just giving you a piece of my perspective on how life should be. Until next time. Bye.